I think the move from fossil fuels um, is critically important today. I think that climate change is absolutely real and has to be addressed. Can you tell us a bit about yourself and uh, what you do? So, I'm a serial entrepreneur. We develop, own and operate wind and solar farms. I mean, I'm a big fan of electric vehicles. I have been for many years. Some people see that as odd because I come from a, a motorsport background and, and being a petrol head my whole life. There's a resistance to change. I think people don't fully understand electric cars. So for me, it's a, a significant step forward and they are wonderful vehicles to drive. They've got an enormous amount of power. They, they really are very dynamic and enjoyable vehicles. In terms of the energy space right now, and particularly electric vehicles, what impact do you think they'll have on the planet? There's an enormous movement towards decentralized energy, where renewable energy will be able to be stored in vehicles, and through a liberalized energy system, you'll be able to move electrons basically from your vehicle into the grid, or from the grid to your vehicle. And it assists the grid in terms of balancing, especially when you've got renewable energy, which comes and goes as the wind blows or the sun shines. So all that energy can be stored and reused, and all electric vehicles become a massive storage device. In South Africa though, just given the energy crisis that we are facing, do you think that it will be detrimental to the future of electric cars in this country, whether they succeed or fail? I mean, I think there's always a resistance to change, which we see all the time. So it's a different technology. People have range anxiety and the usual things that come with electric vehicles. But if you take a modern electric vehicle like this vehicle or any of the future vehicles that we'll see, they charge in a very short space of time. So, so when people say, I can't have an electric car because of load shedding, for example, that's not a real argument because this car will charge in an hour. I could operate my car completely off-grid or I do operate off-grid. That's the reality. You can run a car as bizarre as it sounds like this off the sun, which is special for me. I mean, I, I enjoy the fact that I do that. Chris, do you think South Africans are ready to adopt uh, electric vehicles or is the timing still a bit too premature? You know, I think people need to go through a mindset change. Everybody has the standard concerns around EVs, range anxiety, charging infrastructure. But at the end of the day, having owned one for nearly a year now, there is plenty of charging infrastructure out there. The reality around charge stations is it's not like a petrol station where you have to put in a tank underground and have an enormous amount of infrastructure. We could have hundreds of, of EV charge stations literally in a few months because it's a very simple thing. As long as there's electricity nearby and you've got a piece of concrete, you can charge a vehicle. And the people in your circle, are they warming up to the idea of going electric? Yeah, the thing that's most impressive about an electric car is the, is the performance, especially the acceleration. It's such an incredible, linear, instant power delivery that any person who's driven a performance car is totally impressed. I suppose if you were to talk about one negative, it's probably the fact that some of these cars don't have the same range before stops as a petrol car. But that's the only real disadvantage right now. As a platform, is a far superior motor car to a internal combustion engine motor car. You have been mentioning a few unfamiliar terms from DC to range, anxiety, and I know that there's also kilowatt hour or so, just a whole new language that comes with driving electric vehicles. How do you reckon people can become a bit more familiar with this language? The terminology in electric cars is a little different from petrol cars. We know things like litres per hundred kilometres, but in electric cars, kilowatts per hundred kilometres. Recuperation, also a new term, but that's how the car transmits power back to the battery when you're slowing down. So all this terminology will come to us naturally as we drive more electric cars and we become familiar with them. And in your uh, opinion, is there any reason anyone would struggle to make the move to an electric vehicle? You shouldn't struggle if you know what an electric vehicle is all about. Because it's new, there may be a reluctance. But at the end of the day, there's no difference in terms of how you drive it. For me, personally, you know, we should embrace change. We should try new things. And an EV is different, but it's still a motor car. It takes a lot of 
reflection, self-educating and accepting change.